Hi, this is Nikki, and I'm here to share messages I get from Spirit and for all of us who are all on this journey to love and to reunite with our divine vibrational matches in this lifetime. And so um, today I'm going to share a guidance reading um, that comes from the Moonology deck and also from the Work Your Light Oracle and my friends deck. And um, what I did was down the left hand side is um, the guidance for the divine counterpart, down the right hand side is the guidance for us and then um, the union energies in the middle. And the question that I asked is, is basically what's going on at the moment and what do we need to know? So the first thing is um, for the divine counterparts, it is they are being pushed to step out of the comfort zone, to step into what lights them up. So their star seed and their home roots, this call of the soul is pulling them towards a different life. And so the message that they have is courage. So they need to have the courage to move out of the old and step into a new way of living. So that's why it is hugely important to be compassionate and to send that strength and love. Also send to Archangel Michael, you know, ask for Archangel Michael to be with your twin to help them have strength and courage to live their soul truth and to communicate. So, um, the, so the message for them is to step out of the comfort zone, to go towards their, what they feel is good. They have the courage with them to really do this, so be compassionate for them. So on our side it is, <laughs> our commitment is being tested. So, which is, you know, I know that, well, we always say it's hard on this journey and it is, but it definitely goes through cycles of sometimes being feeling very, uh, very difficult and sometimes it's a bit more of easy and then it gets difficult again and then it gets easier again because you're going you know all the time we're elevating upwards and moving up in our vibration and when you move up in your vibration you come to another level of knowing another level of following your truth and so the message is this com your commitment to this journey is being tested so dance mix up your energy right um, that, like the biggest thing is to make sure you're doing everything you can to elevate your energy, to elevate your vibration, to make sure that your frequency is always as high as it can be. And that's the challenge, right? That's always the challenge because you have to, and look at this, it is action. You have to take action to make sure that you do that. Otherwise, it's so easy to get dunked. It's so easy to go down into a funk if you let all of the fears and the anxieties and the worries and the doubt and everything else creep in. Um, and we all know it. We all know that there are triggers that happen that make you go into that space. And so that's why it's saying, look, it is challenging. Your commitment to this journey is being tested. Um, it is time to dance with the life, to lift up your energy, to take action to do that. So then what's in the union? For both of us, it is to show the real world, you know, who you really are. That's the point of these whole connections, right? And it's also about coming home, what you've been called to journey to. This in Rama card is basically the homecoming. <laughs> so this is why it's so lovely, because the energies between us both are basically saying that all of this is happening, this whole journey, the whole reason why you met your twin, the whole reason why you've gone on this crazy journey is to find out who you truly are, to find out where your origins are, to find out your true star galactic, you know, origins. And we're all on a journey of coming home. So um, to show the world the real you, the real vibration, the vibration of what divine love really is. And so the message then for the union was to again, to dance. So, because it's about dancing with your dreams, never giving up, you know, knowing that your commitment is always being tested to this journey. Your commitment to your own soul truth is tested all the time because it's like, do you really want to follow your soul truth? Do you really want to take this path? Because it's not going to be an easy one. But um, it is about working with your uh, working with your energy, working actively with your frequency and intentionally to let it um, basically to let it run high. <laughs> so um, I shared on my Instagram um, 
a divine love mantra that came through yesterday, which is one of the mantra books that I've done. And um, it was about um, embracing yourself, but I can't remember exactly what it was. I don't have the book with me. But if you check out the um, um, uh, check out my Instagram, which is Divine Love Crystal Grid, um, you'll see it. It was number twenty seven, and twenty seven is nine. Nine is closing out of things, so it's releasing all energies that you no longer need to live your soul truth. And that's what all of this reading is about, right? So on the Depth of Divine counterpart say, saying, it's saying you've got to step out of the comfort zone. You've got to do what lights you up. You have the courage that what it takes to get you to do that. On our side, it's like the commitment is being tested. You've got to take action to shift up your energy. If you want to dance with your dreams, you need to take action towards completing those dreams, trusting in your intuition, doing everything you can to trust in your intuition because we are all at the heart of everything. We're all being called home. We are being called home to journey towards our soul origin. So um, the commitment card, this one, your commitment is being tested. So this is for you. There could be some challenges coming your way, but they're just the universe's way of testing you. The first quarter moon calls for you to face any hurdles with confidence. What do you actually think is possible? If you believe you can do it, then you probably can. If you spend your life affirming that something is too big for you to surmount, it probably is. See how it works. Do you believe your dreams will come true? Or have you secretly already given up? Showing some commitment now will help you move towards your desired outcome. What you believe to be true is true for you. So believe in yourself. Right, so it's like a self-fulfilling prophecy. If underneath you have subconscious doubts and fears um, that you think actually all of this is never going to happen, you know, no matter, you know, this is all just like one big long, like I've, you know, basically just been telling myself these crazy things because it's so romantic and so lovely and all this stuff. Um, it's like to say clear all of those subconscious beliefs because that, that is what's going to drive you. So. The message is to show the real world the real you. This card brings a message from the cosmos that you need to detach a little from whatever situation you're asking about. Someone might be keeping you at arm's length now, but it's not a bad thing. It's important for you to allow life to unfold and progress, even if change seems like a frightening prospect. If you've been holding yourself back from showing the real world the real you, this card reminds you that your unique characteristics are what make you special. In a relationship, you are being too aloof or detached. Go ahead and be yourself in whatever is coming up for you. And every full moon is a time to release and let go. But the addition of the Aquarian energy to the mix triples that message. Aquarius is the opposite of clingy, and pulling this card at any time suggests either you need to let go or someone is thinking they are the ones who need to let go. What needs to go? What is the right thing to do? Whatever happens next could be highly unconventional. Or unexpected okay so what needs to be let go is those thoughts of thinking this could never happen you know this actually is just like a crazy notion that somebody's dreamt up but that's the message the message is you ha you can do this you absolutely can do this if you have found the twin flame journey you found it for a reason it is so that you can uncover more and more of your soul and show the world the real you you're all on it we're all on this journey of coming home you know this is what this is the heart of the reading the journey of coming home is to be able to really dance with your dreams so the guidance for us is to shift up the energy dance with life you know take action to shift your energy and shift your vibe um for the twin it's basically saying step out of the comfort zone you know you've got to do what lights you up you're being called home you've got the courage to do what it takes to make that happen so put the intent into the energy bubble for you and your twin imagine getting in into your energetic carriage every day which is a big energy bubble that is filled with all the intent for your life and filled with the intent to send healing love and light to your twin to give them the courage with Archangel Michael to help them um, to come into their true authentic selves and then hold space for them. Hold space for them and for you to grow into your true authentic self. And then life will open up. 
you know, the, pa the pathway will become clear. And if it doesn't feel clear today, just know that tomorrow you're one step closer. So every single day, just say, I am grateful for being one step closer to my soul destiny. And of course, your soul destiny, if you follow your highest and best path, is always back with your twin. All right, I hope that helps. And um, if you want a healing, a reading, or a channeled letter, it's $10. Akashic Record readings are $80. That's eight questions that you can ask. And so I channel whatever information comes through for you. And then you have it as a written, written record. Um, and it will open doors. It will open, so somebody asked in theirs about how do they how do they tap into their own intuition? You know, what do they have to do? And so for each individual will be different, you know, um, but you can get guidance from your higher self. Your Akashic records are um, basically an energetic record of all universal truth, past, present, future, that were written by Archangel Metatron. And they are an incredible source of information for your higher self, for you to live your destined path for you to see the, um, to see the truth of who you are. So it's really powerful. Um, and the other message I have to say is about ants. So being invested with ants. Now ants, <laughs> I know why they've come today, is because we're all being brought together to come home. And uh, the ants, you think, they're tiny, tiny, tiny. And you think, wow, they can't possibly carry that whatever it is they start to carry. But when they all come together and they communicate with each other, then you can see them all, you know, coming together to carry huge pieces, which are like, you know, hundreds of times bigger than their actual individual bodies. And that's the thing. That's the message for today. The message of the ant is that we are all coming together to collectively bring this huge, powerful energy down to the physical you know, and that is the thing. You come together and be empowered by the fact that we're all doing together, all doing it together. This is not an individual journey. This is a, a coming together of souls uh, to bring love. So get ready to dance with your dreams because once you do that, then you will lift and shift your energy, take action every day to protect your energy and to rise up in your frequency which is all about faith, trust, and just belief that you absolutely can do it. All right, I hope that helps. Take care and have a great day. All right, bye.